the majority of businesses, IFRS 15 probably won't make very much difference to your overall reported sales or profit figures. There are certain industries where it does have an impact on the numbers. For example, telecoms businesses and the IT industry have both been massively impacted, as have other businesses where a licensing model is commonly used, like film and television production. Where the standard does affect the numbers, the impact normally revolves around the timing of revenue recognition. For example, a lot of companies currently spread license income evenly over the life of the contract, whereas under IFRS 15, they're going to have to think in terms of recognising the revenue as and when the performance obligations under the license have been satisfied. But don't let the fact that it's unlikely to affect your profits fool you into thinking that you don't have to worry about IFRS 15. There are two areas where everybody will be affected. The first is that even if you think it won't have any impact on your actual income statement, you still have to review every single contract type that your company uses in order to be sure that it doesn't have any impact. The devil is in the detail. And since the standard has over 400 pages, there are many detail points that have to be considered. The other way in which the standard will affect everybody is that the disclosure requirements in IFRS 15 are far more extensive than under IS 18, its predecessor standard. The 19 paragraphs, yes, 19 paragraphs of disclosure requirements range from disaggregation of revenue, including giving the relationship between the disaggregated revenue and the reported IFRS 8 segments, and the disclosure of significant judgments that have been applied in the application of the standard. And don't forget you'll need a much better revenue recognition accounting policy than in the past. Usually these are very general and typically not personalised the business at all, whereas in the future they're going to need to be much more specific and describe the revenue recognition policy that you apply to every income stream. So in summary, even if IFRS 15 doesn't impact on your actual results, it will certainly mean a lot of extra work for you and for your accounts team.